Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Blackmagic Decklink 8K Pro video card. And I want to talk about this because there are different connector mappings that change how the card works. If you want to use it for 8K, it's one way, and if you want to use four inputs or maybe four outputs, it's a different way. So we're going to show you how to do that today, and we're also going to talk about external keying. So if you want to do a fill and key out of your Decklink card, we're going to show you that. So let's dive right into it. Before we begin, I want to let you know that we do have an article in our knowledge base that goes over all this information. So please check there and follow along. Here I have a Sonnet chassis and I have the Decklink 8K Pro inside of there. So let's take a bigger look at this. For 8K, you would need all four connectors at once as it's four 4K signals. Either movie recorder or on the air video can use the card to output or receive 8K, but not both at the same time. For four separate signals, whether in or out, use SDI-1 in or out. That's great if you have multiple 4K signals coming in, and you can watch this video to see how many 4K signals I got with the Mac Studio Ultra. Now let's look at this connector setting. This is for SDI-1 in, SDI-2 out. Now that gets you two inputs and two outputs. So when you're recording, you can get the one input and a loop through output. Or when you're doing playback, you can use this mode for external keying. So output on one and key on two. You can have maybe two instances of on-the-air video, both doing your fill and key. And you can use both methods simultaneously with movie recorder and on-the-air video. So let's take a look at the external keying setup in on-the-air video. We're gonna to go to preferences, output. We're gonna choose that deck link connector. We'll choose our format. There are some differences in video cards and what they're able to do. So check this article to figure out what your card can do. We're gonna select ARGB and select external keying. Apply that. Now let's run a video. Okay, you should have seen that fill in key. So I talked about a few different articles during this. We have an article about how to do external keying. We have an article about how you can use your card and what cards are acceptable with it. So please check out that knowledge base. There's a lot of information in there. And really, it's how I make these videos. I use those kind of as my script. So if you want to get ahead of me on these videos, just go to the knowledge base and check it out. So thanks for watching.